Hi, I'm Matt Green. I'm a graduate student at North Carolina State University here in Raleigh, North Carolina. I'm the author of On the Southern March Brown, an article written for Wildlife in North Carolina, coming out in their March-April issue this year. Today I'm going to tie for you the March Brown Soft Hackle Mayfly, a very good imitation for imitating the emergence of the March Brown here in North Carolina. When you already have the gold bead and the hook and the vise, what you want to do is attach the thread to the hook shank. This is going to form a base or a thread base for the fly. You're going to wrap the thread to right about uh, three quarters of the length of the hook shank, right past the point of the fly. Then after you do this, you're going to tie in the rusty brown turkey bite and this is going to act as your ribbing and you're going to want the bite to be placed quill side up because the quill is going to act as your rib for the abdomen of the fly. and you can place some zapagap glue to ensure the integrity of the pile. As you wrap it around the abdomen, this is going to keep the biot down when you tighten down the biot. You're going to work the biot towards the gold bead, uh, towards the head of the fly, and then you're going to tie the biot off right behind the bead. Right after you tie the bite off, you're going to take some brown CDC, natural colored brown, and this is going to be your gill for the fly. This soft tackle uh, imitation is imitating an emerging insect, so it's still important to have the gill intact. Uh, for this purpose. Once you tie the gill in and you tighten that gill down, you're going to whip finish the fly off. You're going to slide the gold bead into it meets the thread and you're going to reattach the thread to the hook uh, right behind the eye of the hook. Now when you start this ad you want to put about oh, five to seven wraps of thread to form a nice head for the fly.
go, then you're going to tie in your partridge for the wing. And uh, you'll probably need uh, one to two pieces of partridge. You're going to use the, the darker tips of the partridge feather. I like two because it gives the wing a little bit of robustness to it. After you tie in that wing, make sure that the fibers are clear of the eye of the hook. You're going to tighten down those, uh, those partridge fibers. going to whip finish off with two or three whip finishes. You can use a glue on the head if you like. It's just a matter of preference. then you're done. I hope you found this video very informative and interesting. As I said earlier, this pattern is a very good pattern for imitating emerging March Browns here in North Carolina. To subscribe to Wildlife in North Carolina, please go to www.wildlife.org. Thanks for watching.